Hi guys, it's Jacob from StringBuzz here. StringBuzzWorld.org being the music journalism site. Links are in the description down below. And we have a brand new song review for you today. And it's the latest by Milky Chance. And that's doing good. I'm going to refer to the original articles I usually do for these videos. So I hope you enjoy. So Milky Chance are perhaps the most captivating duo in modern music right now. Not only are they the only folk orientated artists who can dominate the charts regardless of an ongoing trend. But they write music that is instantly timeless. Just last year their track Cocoon reached our top 20 songs of the year list and we feel that perhaps they've gone a little under the radar fairly recently which is a bit unfair but they are back with a brand new single and hence have made plans for both a US and European tour so shall we see what I really thought of this track. Well yet again the group manages to change up their style to feel just as fresh as when they broke out onto the scene. Sure we are used to hearing their folk and Euro country flavourings by now but the duo is throwing in elements of reggae music and electronic music and it just has me completely staggered. This track also has has a strong indie vibe to it, a British type indie vibe, which is unusual for a group that's from Germany, I think it is. And it's got a really fruity atmosphere that jingles in your ear subtly, but also pleasantly as well. Production wise, the song is just as solid as in their past few efforts. I love the dual panned vocals that Clemens uses on each track as they create a strangely brooding ambiance. We get the same approach here too, which again, I just loved. The bass has more impact than in previous tracks and there are some funky tones being thrown about in the low end too, which again just adds more dimensions to this track. The drums sound gorgeous too, with each tom adding power into the transitions and verse sequences. The guitar tone is crunchy and reminds me a lot of some early 2000s British alternative rock, an interesting but well executed layer as well. I honestly cannot fault the production on this track and I must admit I'm incredibly impressed. When it comes to musicality, the song incorporates so many cultures and approaches that it's almost difficult from a journalist standpoint to summarise them. The guitar is very much pop rock orientated with progressions being left largely simplistic but memorable. The bass on the other hand is much more funk driven, concentrating on singular punchy notes around the octave. The drums are much more reminiscent of hard rock, with a hardcore type tom beat being preferred as their go-to sequence in the verses. The vocals are dramatised in a fashion closer to reggae, with the offbeat being louder on many syllables. All in all, it works together very nicely and in chemistry with one another to create a very vibrant texture. The form is exploratory, the hook is memorable, the rhythmic feel is quirky and the whole song just comes across as very original. Lyrically, the track is quite basic and I would have perhaps preferred some more lines which provoke some more stronger emotions or stronger thoughts but again a fun track and I can't really go wrong with the lyrical choices here. Overall this track is a really fun time it's much more of the same by a group that seems to be growing at a rapid rate and maturing as well despite being so young in age. I'm excited to see what the, their next album really holds this year as their influences are going to take a larger role this time around I can predict. A must listen track I gave this a G rating of 8 out of 10 if you like this video then please leave a like subscribe to see more and I'll see you around next time bye bye.